Big Gary. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Hmm? Look at him. What are you doing? Not big fella. Big knock. Big knock. Come here. Nice. Oh, totally missed it. Hi, okay. big fella. Big man. Big man. Big Mac. Big Mac. Oh. Oh, I almost caught it. Now it's gone forever. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. <laughs> that was a good job, buddy. Good job. I want to see if I can get that other piece I just dropped. Big Mac. There you go. I had another one I dropped. Picking up with my toe. Big Mac. Big Mac. Whoop, off the nose. Uh, uh. Damn, that would have been a really good one. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Big Mac. Big Mac. Ooh, that wasn't as nice. Big Mac. There we go. So because I know that people will ask, uh, do you think that alligators have the capability of becoming frustrated? I think so, yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen it. Um, in this situation, he wasn't at all. Uh, so this is the first time we're actually interacting with him in the water like this. And we were just doing a couple of uh, reels videos this way instead of for YouTube earlier. And he's being really, really good. And then now he's actually being a little bit more pushy and not being as good, you know. Um, we do have to learn our boundaries and figure out what's okay and what he's allowed to do and what he's not allowed to do. So this is a big learning day for him right now and being able to interact with him like this. Yeah. Hi, big guy. Being good, you know. You gonna try to bite me? You gonna try to bite me? You thinking about it? Yep. So, I've got one hand on his jaw right here. So, uh, I do a lot of testing like that where I purposefully will put myself into a situation where he thinks he might be able to get me or something. Um, while also taking precautions to obviously prevent him from getting me, just to see where his intentions lie and what he wants to do and what he's thinking about. So like right now, just moving around like that. So what I'm really doing here is seeing if he's gonna target my head, if he's looking for food. So really all that is just looking for food. He's not really targeting me, trying to get me or anything. You see Bella's actually up too right now. The fact that she hears your voice and hasn't like completely swam away is really good. And then since, you know, he was in the wild literally just uh, less than two months, it's a month and a half out of the wild. Uh, so I do have a short stick in here just in case he gets crazy, you know, just in case. Um, but uh, 
eventually you know when i'm dealing with just one alligator at a time like this i don't really need to have a stick as you can see i'm doing everything right now without the stick but i do have it as a precaution as a backup just in case he gets a little a little crazy things start to get a little wild you know i also want um him to see me moving around and to not target me as much see that's looking for food that's not like really targeting but even when he's just looking for food like that if you were to slip up you're to do something wrong it's gonna immediately go for you you know so you want to be careful we're also trying to figure out his eyesight how well can he see um, how does he perceive the environment? Uh, if you guys saw, he is the alligator that, you know, was hit by a car. So uh, he did lose his eyesight entirely and he's just recently regained it. You gonna try to bite me? Yeah? You thinking about it? I wanna see what he'll do. Yeah, that's good. He just kind of went by. I want to see if he tried to come around and try to bite or not. So. You know, let me have a look. Can I see this? See how calm and trusting he's being right now? This is his broken leg. You see the movement there? And he's letting me check it out. Now this is relatively new right here. This is the old scarring and then this is some new rubbing. Um, he's been walking around a lot the last couple of days and just checking out the enclosure and whatnot, which is a good thing. He's feeling good enough to explore. Those, that little rub, that's not a cause of concern yet. You know, obviously we wanna watch and pay attention and see how he does, but that's not like any sort of cause for concern. Uh, we've talked about this almost every video I do with him, whether or not we're gonna end up amputating the foot off or not. Uh, again, that's exactly what we're looking for and to see whether or not that progresses to become a problem or not Or if it is what it is right now, uh, which is not a problem, you know But if it becomes a problem, then we would make, uh, you know, moves to try to amputate But right now, doesn't seem to be any kind of an issue He's not bleeding, it's just like a little bit of a rub Because he went and explored for the first time ever Well, the reason too that we were so hesitant about amputating Not only because surgery is extremely um, stressful and obviously anesthesia with any animal but especially a crocodilian can be risky uh, we didn't want to have to drive him an hour and a half there an hour and a half back uh, to like UF which by the way we wanted them to help us with the alligator that was shot in the head with arrows and they wouldn't help us unless we like surrendered the animal to them which doesn't even make sense so I don't even know if they would help us with alligators but yeah it was pretty crazy guys when we called them about Archer they told us and I hope somebody from UF hears this and is like, what's going on? Uh, they told us when we called, they were like, uh, the only way that we'll help the alligator is if you donate it to UF. And I'm like, well, no, you have to donate it as like a wildlife donation. And I'm like, but we have permits for this alligator. Yeah, we're an animal sanctuary with permits for permanent resident alligators. Like it's our alligator. Why would we? Like, I don't know if we just got somebody who's a, in the reception who's just an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. They said they asked somebody. I don't know. But I don't even know how they have. But that was a very, very weird and frustrating answer. And like, basically, we won't help you unless you relinquish the animal over to us. And then. And then what? And then then where does it go after? Like, it just, it didn't make yeah. sense. But anyway, so what I was getting at is we did find an incredible vet, Dr. Kushner, who's been helping us out coming to the property he's helping us out with alligators he's actually going to check out one of our foxes uh this week so he can amputate on site at our sanctuary and that would be a lot less stressful how is that look at that that's so crazy chloe look at that happy girl hi chloe hi chloe hi chloe Look at that happy bird. Look at that happy bird. Oh, look at her strutting. Look at her go. She's so excited. Chloe, Chloe. Come here, Chloe. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Chloe, Chloe, what are you doing? What you doing? Hi, baby. Look at her. Oh, look at this Chloe. She's so cute. Hi, Cupid. Oh, hi, Cupid. Hi, buddy.
There's his ear in there. Oh, look at him. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, hi, Cupid. <gasps> what are you doing, Cupid? Let's see if he wants to do his little dance thing. Whoosh. Ooh, look at that. Whoosh. Look at that. Whoosh. Cupid doopy. Hi, Chloe. She just jumped on me. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, baby. Hi, Chloe. 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 Oh, look at her. She's being all cuddly. Oh, look at Jed. Oh, look at Jed. Hi, baby. You're just hanging out? Yeah. It's hot. It's like, it's too hot. Not moving. Not going anywhere. morning is saw me so i came to collect the dirty bulls so obviously one of those is hers but the rest are from the foxes and so she's sniffing away she's very interested all the weird weird fox smells neo those, those foxes oh those foxes look at her starts getting all playful oh you're stomping i see some smart piggies you sit daisy sit Good girl Daisy. Look at this good girl Julie. Petunia. Oh, good Petunia. Can you sit, Daisy? There you go. Sit, Julie. There you go. Petunia, can you sit? Look at how cute Daisy is. There you go, Daisy. Oh, big pig, Julie. There's big pig. Petunia, you want some more? You want to sit? You want to sit? There you go. You're sitting. Hey, Petunia's still chewing. There you go. Petunia likes to take time and enjoy the food. Sit, Daisy. <laughs> Petunia's getting mad. Petunia, you sit. You sit. Go, Petunia. Go, girl, Daisy. Can you sit, Petunia? Okay. Oh. Look at the chompers in there. Oof, close one. Almost got me. Easy. And Julia doesn't mess around. Look at Daisy's like, I'm sitting so hard. Give me food. There you go. I heard a bald eagle for a second there. Don't see it though, but definitely heard it. Kit -kit. Can you sit, Petunia? Hi, little pigs. These cute little guys. Getting so big. You're getting so big. Yeah. trying to steal the bull. These are the Patagonian Mara. You hear Olaf in the background. They got such cute little faces.
got some serious eyelashes. Oh, bless you. We're feeding the foxes now, so Kira still has that little bit of a limp going on. So uh, we're not gonna do the actual training with her today. Just gonna go ahead and give it to her. We got some pain meds in the bowl for her right now too. And we're trying to get her in with a vet as soon as possible. She's not like dying or something, but you can tell she's definitely not happy on one leg. And then you can hear Hazel. Oh my goodness. All kinds of crazy. Then there's you, eh? Hazel. Good girl. So she's got some quail grinds and some turkey grinds. There you go, Shippo. Hazel. Good girl. Hazel. Hazel. There you go. Good girl. I love her tail. Got such a big poofy tail. So yeah, they've got quail grinds, turkey grinds, uh, freeze dried duck, apple, and then the exotic canine diet. Petrie. Petrie. Zazu. Oh, there you go, Zazu. Look at those little hops. Look at those little hops. Hi, Jelly Bean. Get your blueberries, baby. Yeah. There's a good Jelly Bean. Look at him. This handsome boy. There you go. Good boy. Don't bite me. Good boy. Got some grape. Yeah. What a happy bird. Good boy, Jelly Bean. So, prairie dog time now. So, they're chowing down. Looks like they got some collard greens in their pellets. Oh, look at Poppy. Hi, Poppy. You enjoying your collard greens, Poppy? Look at them. These are so cute. I love their little hands. Oh, Cheeky just came up and sniffed me. Hi, Cheeky. There you go. Look how brave Cheeky's been. If you guys have been watching for a while, you might remember Cheeky's the one that, when we first got her, she just disappeared underground in here, and we literally didn't see her for weeks. <laughs> and I had to dig this whole thing out to make sure she didn't go die down there or something because she wouldn't come back out. So she's just very, very afraid of everything. Um, then we had to redo the, oh, there she goes. We had to redo the entire enclosure and put her back in here. And it's been a slow process, but um, now she's warming up and she's the friendliest that she's ever been. I mean, just being this close to her is like, uh, you know, when we first got her, impossible, you know? Uh, she's also the one that basically digs all the burrows in here. She does all the work. And the rest of these guys just enjoy uh, all of her work and use all the burrows, but she's really the one that digs everything in here and does pretty much everything Look how cute they are oh, oh, Look at that that's the first time Cheeky's ever let me pet her It's not happy about it though Oh Cheeky 
Whoop. Now we're in the small parrot aviary, so giving them fresh food and water. Look at Jumanji over there chilling. He loves to sit right outside of his house like that. It's so cute. Checking on Big Mac. Hi, big fella. Hi, big guy. So he's got his mouth cracked open right now, which is a sign that he wants food and that he is uh, now associating us mm -hmm. with food. So he is expectant, I guess is what you could say. So um, he's kind of cool, you know, he hasn't really uh, caught on to the food thing that well yet. So it's a good sign. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, big guy. You see his nose is still a little banged up from where he got hit by the car. So that'll heal over time, you know, eventually you won't even be able to tell. Looks like he lost some of his teeth on that too, didn't you? Yeah, looks like it. Well, thank goodness we finally got some rain. It is absolutely pouring now. That's great though. We really need the rain. Hopefully this will help fill up the pond a little bit. Hey Chunk Skunk. Hey Chunk Skunk. Hey Sammy, oh she wants to play. Oh look at her. Oh ho 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 look at her. She being crazy. Whoop. Yeah, she found a carrot. You got a carrot. You got a carrot, you gonna hide from me? Yeah. Well, I guess that's all we could see of her. Just her butt. Here you go, Jet. Got lots of rabbit and there's peppers and apple in there. So now I'm out walking around after all that heavy rain and seeing if it stirred anything up. Might be able to find some snakes out or something. So there is a Florida gopher frog. It's a big adult too. That's really cool. So it's sitting right at the mouth of a gopher tortoise burrow. And so this is a really cool, rare upland frog species here in Florida. They're really pretty, really cool. So they live inside the gopher tortoise burrows. And they are uh, protected. Really cool frog. It's a big one. So here's two more. See the one right there in the center? And then another one up here. That's really cool. These are both at the big... That might be the biggest one I've ever seen right there. Yeah, that's a pair. Male and female. I really like their uh, markings on their legs. You don't get to see this at night often, but this is our pig area. With the pigs and the goats, you know? But I think it looks really cool with all the lights we have on the edges. You never really get to see. Oh, look at them all. 
Hi guys. I hope I didn't wake you up. Hello. Hello babies. Oh. The goats are dry and the pigs are wet. So that big rainstorm, I guess. The goats are smart and the pigs were just sitting in it. You guys are all wet. Oh, you stink. Oh, you stink. I smell you, Julie. You stinky pig. You stinky pig. There's Petunia. Oh, look, Petunia's dry. And covered in, was it hay and dirt? <laughs> so check these out. These are not your normal run-of-the-mill cockroaches. These are called palmetto bugs. And so that's a native Florida cockroach. And they are humongous. Huge. Lots of these little toads are out hopping around after the rain. And check out this, this green tree frog. It's either a green or a squirrel tree frog. I'm trying to take down a moth that's as big as it is. I don't, I don't think that's going to work out for you. I don't think you're big enough. He's trying. So the pond filled up with a couple inches of water, but that might be gone by tomorrow. It's not very much. And you can hear those are uh, right there, narrow mouth toads. So they're very small, funny looking little pointed ones. And they have that really nasally. You can also hear a barred owl somewhere out there. Here's Aquila. I had a feeling she'd be out all that heavy rain. She's a funny croc. She likes to be out and walking around and checking stuff out. I bet she catches some frogs and toads. Look how light colored and yellow she is at night. Look at this, Big Mac and Bella are both out. Everybody's enjoying this big rainstorm. Here's Dino. He's doing good. He's looking good. His leg looks a lot less swollen. So we're probably going to clean his pond maybe tomorrow. It looks good though. Look at the amount of frogs around the lights at the front door. And we got Olaf coming inside. Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. Oh, you're gonna eat Rambo's food. Look at him. You're trying to eat Rambo's food. That's for armadillo. Yeah. Say bye-bye. 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 Good night.